Metric three of four is hospital capacity, and specifically the capacity of the intensive care unit in a hospital, known as the ICU. For those of you who aren't familiar, the ICU is the part of a hospital for people who are really sick. Each ICU bed is equipped with specific equipment that regular hospital beds don't have, such as ventilators that may save the lives of the sickest COVID patients. ICU beds are important because they may be the difference between life and death for some people infected by COVID. But keep in mind that hospitals need to treat not only COVID patients, but also other patients, such as people who have had a heart attack or suffered an injury. So this metric, ICU headroom used, takes into account the fact that on any given day, there are non-COVID patients who need to be in the ICU for other reasons. It then looks specifically at the percentage of the remaining ICU beds that are taken up by COVID patients in a given hospital. This is important because we want to understand if another surge were to happen and COVID cases were to rise, would there be enough available ICU beds for additional COVID patients on top of the current COVID patients and the other non-COVID patients the hospital normally has to take care of? Catherine from LA asked a great question about why ICU capacity data keeps changing. There are many reasons, Catherine, but one is that many hospitals have what is called surge capacity. And this refers to a healthcare system's ability to quickly expand beyond its normal capacity in order to meet a surge or a sudden and unexpected increase in demand for medical care. During Hurricane Katrina, for instance, hospitals created surge capacity in places such as shuttered retail stores, athletic arenas, and veterinary hospitals. For COVID, a hospital might convert beds for elective or non-urgent surgeries into COVID beds. This is why ICU and hospital capacity might fluctuate from week to week or even day to day. One thing to note is that our hospital capacity metric takes into account the surge capacity because this represents the current and actual capacity of hospitals. However, surge capacity is not necessarily a long-term or sustainable solution. Another great, great question about hospital capacity came from Rachel from Maryland. Can we show hospital capacity by hospital rather than by county or state? Unfortunately, Rachel, data that is broken down by hospitals is very hard to come by since public data is typically aggregated at the state level. County level data is rare and there's almost no data provided at the hospital level. There are many reasons for this, including the sensitivity of hospital facilities to sharing more specific information.